Hello students. What we're going to do now is go through each of the index laws one by one. So there'll be a video on each index law. Now the nice thing about index laws is you can actually figure them out for yourself. So it's not as if I have to tell you what this law is and you go, hmm, I wonder why that's true. Um, all it takes is just a little bit of logical reasoning and um, you actually could have figured out all of what I'm about to show you all by yourself. Okay, so let's show you how it works. Expand and then simplify a to the fourth times a cubed. Okay, so let's go ahead and expand that. So a to the fourth is a by a by a by a. That's a to the fourth. Then times and a to the third is a by a by a. And that's now in expanded form. And altogether, I have seven a's multiplied together. Now, if you look at the expression and you look at the answer, you can probably guess what index law number one is going to tell us. But let's do one more example just to be sure. So a cubed times a squared. Well, I've got a total of five a's multiplied together. And that comes out to be a to the fifth. So why don't you try to write down in words or in algebra what the rule is when we want to multiply powers that have the same base. And on the next page, we'll show you what uh, the way that uh, I write the rule. OK, here's what I suggest you do is on a clean page, maybe towards the back of your exercise book, your class book, um, Put a title at the top of it, summary of the index laws. We're going to have seven of them all together. And the first one is to multiply powers with the same base at indices. That's the index law in words. That's the index law in algebra. A to the m times a to the n equals a to the m plus n. And in purple over here is a worked example. So copy that down. And let's go ahead and use it to simplify some expressions. OK, let's have a look at 2a squared times 3a to the fifth. Now, the secret with these is that can really be thought of as 2 times a squared times 3 times a to the fifth. Now, when we multiply, we multiply in we can multiply in any order. That's called the commutative law. So I'm going to first multiply the 2 times the 3. So multiplying the coefficients, you just multiply normally. So 2 times 3. Now a squared times a to the fifth, the index law says that's a to the 2 plus 3. So to multiply powers with the same base, add indices. And the final answer is 6 times a to the fifth. So I did this to show you how it works, but with practice, you can go straight from the question to the answer. Multiply the coefficients to get the coefficient of the answer. Add the powers to get the power of the answer. OK, I'll do this one um, the long way, and then I'll let you have a go at the next two. So 3y to the fourth means 3 times y to the fourth times negative 5 times y times 2 times y squared. So once again, I can multiply in any order. So I can go 3 times negative 5 is negative 15, times 2 is negative 30. And since I'm running out of space, I'm going to have to do the next step in my head. To multiply powers with the same base, add indices. Well, this doesn't have a power on it. Well, it does have a power. We just didn't write it. And that power is 1. So anytime I see a variable by itself, the index is 1. So let's add the indices. 4 plus 1 is 5. Plus 2 is 7. OK, you go ahead, please. Stop the video. Um, simplify each of the uh, remaining two expressions, and then start the video to check your answer. Okay, welcome back, students. Now, these I'm going to do 
basically in my head to show you that that's probably the way you're going to end up doing them. So it's a good idea to start by showing all the working and then after that you can you can basically uh, simplify it by doing a lot of the calculations in your head. The coefficients can be multiplied together first. So 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Ah, I made a, a, a I forgot that um, I've got different bases here. So I made a little trick out of this one. That's a to the power of 2, b to the power of 3. Well, our index law only applies if the bases are the same. So in this case, I can multiply the coefficients, but I can't simplify the powers. So that's the simplest way we can write um, 3a squared times negative 2b cubed, uh, negative 2b to the power of 3 is like that. Index law, number one, only works if the bases are the same. So for the last one, um, we've got two bases with A, two bases with B. So let's go ahead and start by multiplying those together. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. A squared times A to the fifth, with a rule for multiplying powers, is to add indices. And then times, now let's look at the two uh, factors involving B. Negative 2 times negative 3. Sorry, negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. B cubed times B to the 6th is B to the 9th. Now that's correct, but it can be written a bit more simply. We tend not to like writing multiply signs because they look too much like X's. So we can simplify this by saying negative 12 times negative 6. Well, negative times a negative is a positive. 12 times 6 is 72. A to the 7th, B to the 9th. Okay, so there's your an introduction to the first index law to multiply powers with the same base at the indices.